Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will discuss the digital modules which are used to add inputs and outputs in the Mitsubishi PLCs. A variety of different module, modular and compact expansion modules are available for adding IOs to the Milsic FX1N, FX2N, FX2NC and FX3U base units. In addition to this, digital IOs can also be used, can also be added to the controllers of the FX, FX11-4 and FX3U series. The special expansion adopters that are installed directly in the controller itself this is adopter this is installed on the left side of the controller for example this is a controller on this side on this left side this adopter is installed to add few inputs two three two four this kind of few inputs if we don't have space to add the module this kind of modules add uh, more inputs and outputs digital inputs and outputs then for a few ios we will install this kind of adapter on the left side of the base unit these adapters are a particularly good choice when you only need a few additional IOs and uh, do not have enough space to install expansion modules on the side of the controller. If you don't have too much space on the side of the controller to add more modules, then you, you can use this kind of adapters on the right side of the on the left side of the controller to add few inputs and outputs. The modular expansion units only contain the digital inputs and outputs they do not have their own power supplies the modular expansion units do not have their own power supply these kind of modular expansion units this is a modular expansion unit these are also modular expansion units they do not have do not have their own power supplies the compact expansion units have a large number of ios for example if we if we are using expansion units in a large number then we will we need to add the integrated power supply unit for the system bus and the digital inputs for this kind of large IOs, we need to run this kind of system. We need to add the power supply for these IOs. The available base unit and expansion units can be mixed and matched in a variety, in a huge variety of different combinations, making it possible to configure your controllers controller system very precisely to the needs of your application. These kind of inputs and output modular units, expansion units are added according to your requirement. How much inputs and outputs your system is required and how you can add these units. So large number of IOs need the integrated power supply. And if you do not need too much IOs, then the only the available power supply Apply from the PLC can also be used to run the IOS digital IOS these are the modules which provide you the digital inputs and outputs this adapter is used to add digital inputs few digital inputs and these are the modular expansion units which are used to add digital inputs and outputs on the right side of the controller for example this is a controller and this kind of modular expansion units are added from this this side this is the right side and on the left side we can add the adapters to add few digital inputs and outputs if you don't have space for example every plc has a limited space to add the expansion units if you are crossing the required space required units required expansion units then you need to add a adapter on the left side of the base unit to add the few digital inputs or outputs so we are discussing the modules for adding more digital inputs and outputs thank you so much for watching this video.